everybody. I'm just getting ready to head out the door. Um, I feel like complete poop today. I went to bed as early as I could last night and I just can't stop sleeping. Like, you know when you wake up and you have this sort of dizzy feeling here in the back of your head slash neck and it like, I don't know, it always feels like dizzy and sleepy and like my body feels shaky and buzzy and cold and like, oh, I just feel like crap today. But, um, yeah, I need to go get Rosie from her hair salon. She's getting a haircut and it's finished. Mm, before that, I need to go get money um, to pay for that <laughs> at the bank. And I need to get coffee because stupid me left this and there's not enough coffee to even fill that. And so I've had no coffee today. And so I really feel like poo. <laughs> Okay. Let's go, guys. Okay, I'm back to life. I'm going to pick up Rosie. I can't wait to see her. She's going to look so cute. It's been a while since she got a proper haircut. We're back home now. And look how cute her hair is. Let me see you. <laughs> She's waiting for a treat. Look how cute her hair is. Okay, ah, 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 sit. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> You're so excited. Oh, yeah. Here. You're so fluffy. Look at the fluff. Look at the fluff. Yes, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Mommy, we see you. I'm just checking our little grow up here and nothing's happening. I guess we failed. I left it outside um, so that there's heat and sunlight and rain and they're still just seeds. I'm guessing this is a fail. I guess he likes this shot. now to grab some coffee beans and the place I really love to grab them are from this place right here called Streamer Coffee. The guy that runs it is called Hiroshi Sawada-san and he is a champion latte artist so not only does their coffee taste great but it looks really pretty because they can do some pretty latte art. So I'm gonna go in and grab the beans and also grab a coffee so that I can show you guys and drink it. Look at that, I got a soy latte. <laughs> Perfect coffee. Now the trick is to get up the stairs where the seating area is without rooting this. So there's this room. It's really chill. I really like the decor in here. It's quite similar to my house, actually. And then you can go up even further and there's a rooftop terrace, but I saw people are sitting there before, so I'm not gonna go up there. But there should be a really nice view where you can chill and talk and drink your coffee. I think I'm gonna sit right here. My coffee is more they say it's Seattle style and it's a little bit more on the bitter side, not as sweet tasting. But I added soy milk, which has a little sweet taste to it, so it's really good. I like your video. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Is anybody else up there? Is 
Oh, perfect. I'm going to go do a time lapse then. Alright, guys, we can go up. The two that were sitting up here just left. Um, she was so cute, she just said hi to me. Um, so I can have this little seat now and look at this gorgeous view. And my bag just fell off of me. And I dropped all the coffee all over my phone. <laughs> It's hot and you gotta dress like summer. I'm roasting up here. And then I think it gets cooler again at night. I love sitting up here. Nothing better than a good cup of coffee, a nice view. I just wish I had a, a friend or someone here I could chat with to have a good conversation. Done my coffee. I'm sweating like crazy from the hot coffee and the hot sun. And uh, one of my favorite vegan ice cream places is just down the road. So I'm gonna grab ice cream because why not? Ice cream's always a good idea, especially right now because I'm so hot. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, I always get mint chocolate chip. That one's good, but maybe I should try something new. Okay. Could I get one one scoop banana and one scoop strawberry? Arigatozaimasu. Alright, got my beans, got my ice cream, and let's head home. See you it? Do you want to go outside? All right, so now I need to unpack this, um, do some laundry and edit yesterday's vlog, and then let's cook something yummy for dinner. I'm still editing yesterday's vlog, but I'm kind of hungry right now, so I want to start making dinner. And I decided to make something tonight instead of going out and getting it because I've been eating out a lot lately, and I want to eat something healthy at home that I cook myself, and I want to cook with you guys. So tonight we're going to be making a sushi bowl. Um, it's going to be vegan and gluten-free, um, but you can choose the options or toppings that work best for you. And the basic sort of vegetarian sushi types that you usually find in Japan are pickles, eggplant, um, or cucumber, I'd say. So I'm going to take those sort of things and combine them to make a bowl of sushi that's really easy to make with a vegan spicy mayo sauce on top. Let's start cooking. The first thing we're going to cook up is the rice because that takes the longest. I'm gonna do it with a rice cooker. So for the rice, you will need one cup of Japanese white rice. The rice grain is a lot shorter and puffier and it cooks really softly. So one cup of that, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, and two cups of water. If you don't have a rice cooker, you can just cook this on your stove in a pot. But it usually takes about 45 minutes with this, so that's why I'm making it first. I'm gonna stir it all together. In this frying pan with a little bit of olive oil, I'm going to cook up the radish and the eggplant. Not too much though, I still want it to be a bit crunchy and have most of the enzymes left. I'm just going to cook it with a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. You can add whatever salt you want. I'm cooking a lot because I want to make up the whole bag of what I bought basically and then I can just store it in the fridge and use it for rice dishes later. Alright, well that's cooking up, let's make this spicy mayo sauce. So to a blender, I'm going to add one pack of silken tofu, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of sesame oil. Okay, I found this hot sauce. It's red pepper sauce. I'm not sure how spicy it is. I'm going to see first. Oh my god, that's so spicy. Okay, I think I'm just going to put... Oh, I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in and about a half a teaspoon of maple syrup. Now I'm just gonna blend this all together. All right, so now I've got everything ready. My spicy mayo sauce, and then my toppings are gonna be the eggplant and radish, which are cooked, edamame, avocado sliced, 
a fresh cucumber that I spiralize with my little spiralizer. You can just slice it normally if you want. And then over here, I have some lotus mushroom spinach carrot mix. It's kind of with a sesame sauce and sesame on top. Um, you don't have to put this one. You can find it here in Japan in most supermarkets, but if you don't live in Japan, you could put, I don't know, maybe just plain mushrooms or plain spinach or carrots or whatever you want. These I'm going to have on the side. They're Japanese pickles. Uh, here's some seaweed. It's sliced into strips. And some toasted sesame seeds. All right, rice is ready. So let's go in with some eggplant. It looks really well cooked, but it's kind of just seared on the outer edges with the olive oil and salt, and the inside is still kind of a bit raw and crunchy. Ooh, I think if I wanted to make it look pretty, you should put the mayo sauce on, type, on top of the rice first and then put the veggies on top. Now I kind of made it ugly. I always do that though. There we go, there's my dinner. I added some more sauce and seaweed and it's really, really tasty, guys. Dinner dishes are washed, laundry's done, video is uploaded and released. Just walk this little thing. Everything's done, so I think I'm gonna treat myself to a body massage. Get it! Go get it! Okay, get the monkey baby. Get the monkey baby. Go get it! Look at What are you doing? What are you doing? Can Mom go for a massage? Is it okay with you if Mom goes for a little massage? Oh, but you look so cute with those sparkling eyes. Look at those eyes, Sparkle.